Hey, what's going on everybody? We're back. We are booting into the Ultimate USB version 2 again. If you guys haven't picked one up, what are you doing? Get over there and pick one up. It's the greatest USB ever made. All right, but we are doing a follow-up to the last video, which was a review of DLC Boot, which is a WinPE environment, like a multi-tool type of utility. So today we're going to look at another one that's included on the Ultimate USB version 2. That would be the A... I-O-S-R-T, which is the all-in-one system rescue toolkit. So let's check it out, see what it looks like. So we're just booting from a virtual machine here. It's easier to demonstrate that on a VM so I can record it for you guys. Otherwise, I have to use a HDMI to USB uh, input adapter and get that working in OBS. I have one. It's a little finicky. If you guys have recommendations on a better one, let me know. All right. So we saw that load up. Looks like it's running a Lubuntu underneath the hood there. Um, okay. Let's let it load up here. We'll give it one second. All right. So we get the EULA here out of that guy and we get a nice little graphical display of system resources uh, we can see that I'm running my Ryzen 7 the 7700x8 core processor uh, we get a CPU usage memory usage here that's cool shows our mounted disks and some other information here as far as networking things like that so not too bad you can see the OS version of this is actually in Ubuntu 16. Um, let's poke around a little bit, guys, see what this thing's all about. Looks like it does come with Clam AV. And oh, it looks like they put a game on here. That's cool. Breakout. I actually like this game. Um, let's change it up and start there and see if it works. Because if you remember, we poked around a little in DLC boot, and there were quite a few things that did not work. So let's try. Yeah, it looks like it works. All right, well, we won't play this game very long. I just want to make sure it works. So that's cool. If you're uh, maybe you're running some diagnostic test test or something like that, or running a fix MBR and it's taking a while, why not entertain yourself with a game there? Cool. Kudos for that. Let's check it out. Accessories. We've got looks like something to manage archives, like zip files and things like that. Character map. This is a, looks like an antivirus for Clam, which is Clam AV up here. We can look at our disks. We got a file manager, calculator. You can open images, and then you have a leaf pad, which is like a, a word pad. Uh, games, so it's just a single game. Graphics, document viewer, looks like a PDF viewer. We've got a browser here, um, Dory. They offer a private mode as well. Office, looks like we've got a word and a numeric. Maybe this is like spreadsheets. Sound and video. Not a whole lot so far that I'm seeing here, guys. System tools. Okay. We've got G parted. You got a boot repair utility, probably to fix MBR and things like that. Disk usage analyzer. I wonder if this is like a tree size or. Uh, yeah, let's break this down. Yeah, so this will be like your, uh, if you guys are familiar with utilities such as Winderstat or TreeSize, looks like a similar utility there with a graphical representation of what's eating up all your disk space, so that's cool. Sorry, we were in System Tools. Start Input Method. Package Installer. So this is like your Linux package installer there. You've got Gparted. You guys are probably familiar with Gparted by this point. Not sure what this is. Let's see. Oh, I think this is like the um, display settings for this small operating system here, Light DM. So maybe that's the like the wrapper they threw on the Ubuntu. I'm not sure, but really not a lot of system utilities. It looks like there's things to interact with this operating system, but I don't see a lot of diagnostic and repair type of utilities like we see on a lot of the other. Um, multi-tool or WinPE environments that we reviewed this far. Software updater. Again, that 
these these all seem to be most of them seem to be relevant to the OS that we're running here. So I don't know if the intention was to build this as a functional OS or more of a system rescue. It's called system rescue rescue toolkit. Don't get me wrong. There are a few, this is cool, system profiler and benchmark. There are a few utilities here that you could use as a technician to, um, you know, work on things and repair computers and fix things, but not a whole lot. I don't, I think maybe they were going more for like a portable operating system almost, right? You've got games on here. You can modify the operating system, the layout, the, uh, the graphical interface, everything, Again, I'm I'm a little confused to be honest. What do you guys think about this all-in-one system rescue toolkit? I don't hear it talked about nearly as much as Herens or the Ultimate Boot CD or uh, Medicat, and I think I'm realizing why. Same thing with DLC, uh, but DLC had a lot more technician-focused applications. Uh, this does not. Now, let me back up a step there. DLC had a lot of stuff, but the stuff we tried to test didn't work. So that's probably why the reason a lot of people don't talk about that much. There's not a lot here, guys. There's a few more applications that are on the desktop. It's like Photo Rec. I'm not sure what that is. Maybe you can record or something. It's free software. No, this, I'm sorry. Recovery, that's what this is. Data recovery utility. I mean, there's a lot of other ones out there that are free that they could have packaged into this. So, Not really sure what they were going for. I mean, you have boot repair and you have Gparted and you have a little Clam AV that you can scan and you have a cool game here. Um, you got a browser and you've got a like a Winderstat type of utility. Um, and looks like maybe a an image burning utility. Very basic. Okay, there is an NT password reset. Seriously? It's not even a utility. This is just like a three-liner of how to do it from the command line. Okay. I mean, I'll give them props on having a cool game on there, and I'll give them props for this little um, graphical um, information that they have up here for what hardware you're running. But come on, seriously? I'm not impressed with this. I think we could build a better one. I don't mean to be a dick, but I mean, I know a lot of work goes into building these. So why not put some more stuff on here that's make that makes it a better utility for the technician or for whoever's using this doesn't have to be a technician, but it's probably someone that's trying to fix something or work on something. So I, I think this might be right up there with DLC for one of the worst ones we've looked at. And I, I'd have to do a little more testing with DLC, but just given the fact that I clicked on several things and I got errors and they didn't launch, I mean, that right there is just not a good look. Like, two thumbs down, at least one thumb down for DLC. I should probably do a little more testing with that to be sure. But this, I'm also... I don't want to say two thumbs down because I'm not that mean of a guy, believe it or not. I'm going to give it one thumb down for sure, though. Uh, this is nowhere near the quality and the... Um, it doesn't have near near as many utilities, useful utilities as Medicat, Herens, or the Ultimate Boot CD. So this is definitely a step below those big three that we've looked at, or you know the big three that everyone talks about. And I know there's more than three that people talk about, but I'm just saying. Uh, and you know what? I had a brain fart, guys. I've only had two cups of coffee. Sergey Strelak is also up there on the upper echelon of these WinPE environments. So. Um, between Sergey Strelak, the Ultimate Boot CD, Herens, and Medicat, I think those guys so far are top shelf. And obviously, one or two of those is top, top shelf. But these two, DLC and AIO, I'm not feeling it, guys. Let me know what you think. Did I miss something here? Am I not using this correctly? Are there hidden menus or folders somewhere with a lot more utilities? I don't know. It just doesn't seem like there's much here. And for some people, maybe that's okay. This is all you need. But again, if you're going to take the time to build something like this and put your name on it or your brand, whatever it is, someone this is someone's baby at the end of the day, maybe a whole team. Come on, guys. Really? I mean, I guess it's Paul is a geek. That's who built this. Well, Paul... 
I, I'm not going to say anything because I haven't built one. So, I mean, it's obviously better than what I've built as far as a PE environment, but I think I could probably do better than Paul. But hey, again, no disrespect, Paul. I mean, you did build something that's cool, but why not make it cooler? Why not come with some more utilities, some well-known stuff? Maybe that's not what you're going for. I don't know. Everyone has their own, you know, everyone's palette's different. So, again, let me know what you guys think about this. I am booting this, again, off of the Ultimate USB version 2, the greatest USB ever made. And if you don't like this, like, like I don't really like this one, don't worry. If you have my USB, there are plenty of options, guys. You've got 56 or 57, whatever it is, bootable images in one USB, including a bunch of these WinPE environments with some really good ones that I've looked at. And I'm going to look at some more that are on there for you guys as well. So do me a favor, though, guys. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. My analytics show that 90% of you guys are not subscribed, the, guys, the people who are watching the videos. Um, so please consider subscribing. My goal is to hit 10,000 by the end of this year. Uh, to do that, I need about 16 subs a day. I'm trending below that at about 10 subs a day on average. So help me out. Spread the word. Share this around. I'm going to make some more videos for you guys reviewing some more of these utilities on the Ultimate Bootable USB version 2. So make sure that you hit that like button, subscribe, share this with your friends so they can check out my reviews on these utilities and they can check out my USBs and all the great content that I'm putting out. I'm going to have a lot more good stuff for you guys. I'm going to stop rambling on now, I promise. Uh, you guys have a great day. Let me know what you think in the comments, please. Until the next one, everyone take care.